Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on Lucy on Cars. Before we get started on this video, we are on the road, pardon the pun, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers on this channel. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate you clicking the button just down below. It really helps me out. We have decided to film a video in the middle of the road today, so there may be some pauses while we wait for cars to go past. Uh, this was not a very good idea, was it? But we just thought the background's beautiful, so. In today's video, I want you to run through, I want to say five, but I'm not going to know the number until I've finished filming because things might come to me. Things that I was surprised about on this car, hidden features, little things that you may not expect in a car that's 13 years old, little hidden gems that maybe if you're buying this car or if you've already got it, you might not realize that we're in the car. They definitely surprised me. So like I've said a few times on this channel, we have got another car, a BMW 330e. It's a 2021 model and it's literally got every gadget that you could possibly think of. So you'd expect things like that to be in that car. But with a car that's older, sometimes you don't expect there to be certain things in it. So that's what today's video is. So we're gonna head inside the car think most of the things that we'll be speaking about will be inside. The first thing is actually something that doesn't benefit the driver hugely. It actually benefits the passenger, specifically the front passenger. Um, actually, you're gonna have to get in the car. Jump in the car a second. Now this car has got rear TV screen. There is also a screen here, which you may think is just for navigation. Oh, it's windy. Oh, that is a chill. You may think that is just for navigation, for your settings, for your usual things that would be on a screen in a car. However, the passenger gets a treat. So I could put the TV screen on here. We go into the home menu here, audio, video, TV, DVD. So now you as a passenger could see the TV screen playing the TV, but I, if I grab the camera, can see the regular menu. So crazy stuff. Pretty magic if you ask me. This side's TV and then we move around settings menu and of course that's a safety feature so you can't watch TV while driving along uh, but it does mean that if your passenger wants to watch TV and you want to have your navigation screen up then it's basically like a split screen all in one screen very very clever stuff this next one may just be me I've had this car for six months now and only the other day did I realize sunglasses holder very handy don't actually wear sunglasses very often probably won't use it good to know probably my favorite part of this car no that's very dramatic one of my top 10 favorite bits of this car I only found out the other day watching Joel's video, you have a split sun visor. You know when you think you're driving along, the sun's here, then you turn a corner, the sun's there, and you're like, you kind of keep moving it, and then the sun moves back again, then you move back, and it's just like a big faff like this. You're doing this constantly. Here, you've got both. The only time would be if the sun's poking through that tiny triangle, which is very rare. How amazing is that? It's literally, I don't know why every car doesn't have this. That is just genius engineering right there. Now, if you have trust issues, then this next one is perfect for you. There's valet mode, which is, for example, if you're taking your car into the garage or you're getting it valeted, you can lock the glove box. To do that, we go to the home menu, click valet, you enter your own pin and it basically locks it. It's like you've got a safe. How cool is that actually? Or if you wanted to keep something in the car that's, I don't know, that needs to be kept safe, then you could use valet mode for that as well. Okay, so let's pick a code today. One, two, three, Four. I'm just thinking of one that no one could guess, so let's try that. One, two, no one's gonna have thought of this, are they? It's too obvious. It's way too obvious. Right, valet mode activated. Oh no, I can't get in my glove box. I'm a thief and I can't steal their handbook. <laughs> so then we just put the bin back in. Yes! Thank goodness no one stole my roll of sellotape. I actually been <laughs> looking for this and I went out to the shops yesterday to buy sellotape. It was in the car the whole time. run over. <laughs> the next one I want to talk about is access mode. Now there's a very special and very secret button right here to go into access mode. Now I know you can obviously use your big chunky uh, suspension buttons just down here but it's quite fiddly like if you're trying to do it at the same time as driving da 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 knowing that you can just go straight into access mode pressing this button it might it might be obvious to some people but it just means that if you're wanting to go into access before getting out of the car you can literally be driving along just sort of press it without looking because it's just right there and um, so let's do it now and the car's gonna lower such a funny feeling being lowered into the ground as you're in your car and then now it's much more accessible for getting out so if you're not blessed in the height department, I don't know, I'm quite tall, I, I quite enjoy jumping in and out of it, but it's definitely a handy part. 
of the car and it just means yeah you're not sort of stretching or all over the place every time you need to get in and out a couple more features are when you pull the washer fluid you don't have to pull it down like every other car i've owned you've had to kind of pull it down for the amount of time you want the washer fluid to come out this one you can just give it a little tap and it gives you the correct amount that you should be putting on your windscreen very handy very minor but it's a nice little thing and also when you're driving at night you turn the steering wheel and a little side light comes on that sort of lights up the way where you're heading towards and it goes off again when your steering wheel goes straight so again it's not like a crazy out there gadget but it's just something that adds to the overall experience of driving this car now of course if any of you guys have got any hidden features or special things that you think i maybe don't know about and should know about please leave me a comment down below whether you own the car you've watched videos about them something that you've picked up on from somewhere of course i'm still learning and i feel like most times i get into the car i discover something new make sure you head into the comments and let me know your favorite little feature something else that it has that's maybe just sort of more part of the spec, less of a hidden feature, but is the um, heated steering wheel, the heated front and rear seats, the front cooled seats, all these things to add up and just make the car feel so much more luxurious. It gives it that extra elevation. I still can't believe it's 13 years old. I used to work at BMW and when you talk about cars from 13 years ago, when I was working there, you wouldn't be expecting these features, but with a car like a Range Rover, I feel like they've just thought about so many different things that, that have surprised me definitely in owning this car. Now, one thing I was hoping to talk about in this video and something I was excited to try out because uh, I was watching a video when we were first thinking about buying this car and someone had done like a secret uh, it was like favorite things about the car or something um, and they said that you could press two of the buttons on the key to go into different height modes and for some reason we haven't been able to do it we've tried it with the engine off uh, the engine on the ignition on and ignition off in the car out the car and he would be able to press the, it was different combinations depending on what you wanted to do. For example, the unlock and headlight button would have made the car lift, uh, but it's not doing it for us. So I'm not sure why. I don't know if you need to code it or if it's a different model. I don't know, comment below if anyone has managed to do that or if you know why we can't do that, I'd love to know. And that is gonna end off today's video. It's a short one today. I've done quite a few long videos on the channel up to now, thinking like 18, 19, 20 minutes long. Let me know in the comments, what would you say the best length of time is for these kind of videos? Is it like the eight minute mark? Is it the 15 minute mark? Are you fully into the 20 minute mark? I make these videos, but you guys are the ones watching them. So of course, let me know what you think's best for that. Another feature is that you can let the windows go up with the key as well. That's one I've just forgotten about. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to make longer videos, shorter videos, whatever you'd prefer to watch. Sometimes I feel like if the video is too long, I'm like, oh, I don't really have time to watch that. But then if it's too short, is it a bit too brief? I don't know, let me know. Any other videos you wanna see, of course, let me know as well. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time very soon in the next Lucy on Cars. Thanks for watching, bye.